All right, number 15 and our last myth. You should eat back the calories that you burn through exercise, right? I don't know where this got started or who brought this idea up in terms of, you know, like this even being a thing, but you should definitely not eat back the calories you burn through exercise, okay? Now, I've, I've experienced this myself when it comes to tracking your intake. Uh, MyFitnessPal, uh, unless you turn this feature off, will um, take the calories that you burn from exercise and add it to your total intake for the day. So let's say that your intake is 2,000 calories and you burn 500 calories through exercise. Your new calorie intake is 2,500 calories. Now this is kind of silly because the whole idea with weight loss is that you're trying to eat a certain amount of calories within a deficit. What you should be doing instead, and if you have downloaded my uh, fat loss calculator, which I'll put in the, the description below in case you haven't, one of the things you should be doing is factoring your activity level on average into your calorie intake for the day already, all right? Because if you're doing that, you don't even have to worry about the exercise you're doing. Because imagine this, trying to track the amount of calories you burn and the amount of calories that you consume is gonna take a lot of work. You might as well just hire someone else to do it, right? It's, it's a lot of math. If you were to factor in your activity into your intake, you would much, it would be easier because all you have to do is track your intake. So please do not eat back the calories you burn through exercise. It is a very easy way to get in a vicious cycle of consistently just eating and burning the same amount of calories, keeping your weight the same. You're not gonna burn any more fat and it can get a, get into a very confusing cycle. So if you need help with that, by the way, I can understand it's a little confusing, feel free to reach out to me 